Karens are crazy, you know, sometimes they like to release their inner demons when they're in an argument with some random person. So welcome to Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. As always, let's get into the clips. In this clip, we got an old British lady who wants to get someone's phone in order to text someone from Zimbabwe for some weird reason. Can you not touch my car like that? Can you give me a phone, please? What? Can you give me a phone? I want to send a text. What are you doing sitting outside this house? What are you doing? I live here. You don't live here? What are you doing? Can you get your hands off my car, please? No. Please. What are you doing? Leave, go away. What are you doing? Go away. I feel away from the fucking Zimbabwe, you stupid little pimp. Get away from here. Oh, there's it. There it is. The inner demon's been released. Oh god, hell's about to break loose. Everybody, run, run. <laughs> <laughs> just, I, I just can't get over, this is like the old lady who has had her usage of phones restricted by all means because she could, so inept at dealing with scam calls and scam things that she get, has pretty much had all of her internet access, all her phone access, effectively removed in order to save her from herself. And here she is trying to use someone else's phone to, ca to contact the prince, whomever the hell, in Zimbabwe because apparently they're going to make her a billionaire. Let's get into it. In this clip, we've got an old man who's just been a bit of an ass towards the Taco Bell workers, and then, well, the entire workforce just gang up on him through the drive thru. Oh my god, exaggerate. Why don't you come out with your own eyes and take a look? She actually is outside. She can see right at you. Sir, if common sense will tell you to drive up as soon as you get a chance, but hey, you know, common sense ain't thing, common. Common sense? Common sense, that's what I said. You guys' heads are up your and so is yours. You don't smell that shit on your lips. <laughs> hey, you have a bit nice, sir. Be blessed. You go fire. yourself and your tell me how I feel. Your asses are going to get fired. By who? You can tell me I know. Or you can happily kiss my ass. I'm good with either one. Really? This kind of service that... Oh. At this time of night with that type of attitude? Yes, the fuck, sir. No, because I didn't understand what you said you had or didn't Because have. you can't easily get you. you sick. Well, you met your mash, old man. You you met the people that are gonna take you down a peg to the point where you've only got one thing left to say. Fuck you. <laughs> In this next clip, we've got a Karen who can't comprehend the fact that there's a pair of black men just rolling around in the park lot, car parking lot of Mercedes-Benz and decides to cause a few issues because they're apparently trespassing. Why are you blocking the car? I'm leaving. Get the f*** out of my way. I'm picking him up. I came to pick him up. I'm getting the f*** out of here. Trespassing what? Trespassing what? Why are you trespassing? Trespassing what? Why are you trespassing? Trespassing what? On a place where you don't hey, belong hey, to get off the whip. Hey, hey, get off the whip. Hey, hey I could buy whip. any car here I want to buy. Hey, hey, what is you talking about? Hey, I'm trying to leave. What is you talking about? Hey, hey, I'm trying to Once you get on somewhere. So, hey. Hey, nobody giving you no problems. We're trying to leave. We're trying to leave. Hey, y'all hey, get y'all homie, bro. Get y'all homie, bro. Get y'all homie, bro. Hey. This is why people, bro, I be hey, want to smack the f*** out you, hey, dog. Move. 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 Hey. Hey, just get out. Get in the car, bro. Move. Ain't nobody going to touch you. Move. Bro, is, it, is this our homie? Don't touch me. Bro, move around. Don't touch me. Move around. Don't touch me. We ain't going to touch you. You know, you're going to press charges. You trespassing, too. You own this mother? Yeah. You own it? Maybe I. Do. You don't with them dirty ass feet, you don't. Do. Them dirty ass feet, you don't. Get on somewhere, bro. No. Hey, just back the car no. up. Just back the car up and no. pull out, bro. No. Bird. Hey! Yeah, maybe I do. Just back this motherfucker up. You, you know her? No. Move her around, bro. Bird! What the Thank you. Move, move her out, bro. Go. Go. Why are you? Denzel, go. Bro. Why are you trying to run me? I'm walking. Is this your wife? I'm walking. Is this your wife? Thank you. Stupid. 
you. Call you. me a stupid. Josh, smack the out of you. You're a stupid. Touch me. Touch me. You're a stupid. Touch me. Touch me. Am I gonna touch you? I knock your ass out. I promise you. I look at you when I see that. It ain't what you want. You and your husband at. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Exactly touch what me. you said. Touch me. You exactly said touch it. Touch me. You just said it. Touch me. You just said it. Bro, you get your get it. your wife, bro. You just said it. You just said it. Get your wife, bro. You just said it. You just said yeah, it. Yeah, I, I will. I will you, you up. And that's your husband. You better get him. You. you better get him. <laughs> Love how the end there, she's just like, Oh my god, you said it! You said it! Yeah, he's telling you that it, he's not afraid to hit back if you start it. He's not gonna start it himself, but if you do, he ain't afraid to just go, Fuck off, bye-bye. <laughs> it, is, it is what it is. It's not a threat. It's a promise. That's what that was. <laughs> I don't get people like this. Like, what's the point of standing in front of a car saying they're trespassing in the car parking lot of a car dealership? Like, what? I'm confused. <laughs> That definitely seemed like it had a bit of racist connotations to it. I'm not just, I'm not saying that it is, I'm just saying that it feels like it is. Your comments are probably gonna disagree though. <laughs> Is next up, we got a lesson on the world's best parenting methods. Leave your one-year-old child locked up in the car whilst you go inside, not leaving the car running. Doesn't matter if it's a hot summer day or it's cold winter day, just leave them locked up and that they will be fine. Wait, oh, it turns out people were concerned? Oh, shocker. How dare you treat me like that despite all of this going on? How dare you as a mother treat like that to me in front of your child? Yeah. What kind of influence are you I'm making I'm 21, I'm full yes. grown. You're still her kid. And I okay. agree with her. Both of okay. you, shame on you. We're shame trying on to you. protect you your children. You have no idea as a You have no idea to shame me like that. We're for kids. Wait, wait, I had a husband that had cancer. My mom is dying from cancer. Oh, well, too bad. Too bad my husband died of a brain tumor. You better stay away from her. You better stay away from her. What are you causing right now? Who raised their voice? Your mom did. She's trying to help her children. She's trying to help her children. My God, my God. Kids are in great hands with me. She's I'm a good mother. And don't I, I'm shaking. I'm furious. You're How not the dare only one. both of you mind your own business, creepy. Calm down. It's ridiculous. Who's the one that started screaming? Yeah, who's, who's the one that's screaming? Her. Left her one-year-old in the car. Is this mother just having a full-blown meltdown because she was caught out on doing something very irresponsible? Like, as I said, it doesn't matter if it's a cold winter's day or a hot summer's day leaving a child or an animal or anything locked up inside of a closed car is just a disaster waiting to happen it can cause a lot of flipping problems you should just never do that under any circumstances it's just you don't do that like just don't what <laughs> why would there be any question to this thing jesus is next up we got an employee who must have just been having a very bad day or maybe this is a common occurrence but he decides to just start treating customers like crap why you done nothing wrong this is rude with me yeah that's how you talk to veterans they talk to me like that my father was just you defending got, his wife yeah. you got rude with me we asked you something, you could have said you weren't an employee. I tried to help you out. No, you did not. You told oh, it's over you here. Know. We're out. Oh, and I'm not even an employee. Guess what? I don't have to sit here. No, you don't. But you don't have to be rude to customers. I wasn't being rude. I was trying yes, to help you Yes, you were. You, didn't, you could have told me you didn't know where they were. I was trying to help you out. That's where no, you weren't. No, they, no, it isn't. Yes, it's on the opposite side. No, it ain't. Come on. I'll show you. Good. Disrespectful. Thank you. Thank you. You are. <laughs> that customer is absolutely right. You don't have to treat people the way you're treating them. And he's running now. Facebook. Look, look. Now he's still running his mouth. I asked the gentleman where something was. He told me the totally wrong aisle. 
So I came back and I have to So what sounds like has happened here is that this person's directed down them, them down to a certain aisle for a certain item. Turns out the item's not down that aisle, so when they went back to let them know, the worker was a bit rude about it and caused this massive kerfuffle. That's what I'm gathering here. Either way, it's one of those things where I don't get how, I don't care how bad of a day you're having, you still should try and maintain a certain level of professionalism. If you're unable to maintain that type of thing while you're working, then it's probably not a great idea to be working that day, or just try and avoid being on the floor where you're going to have to deal with customs, like, or something on those lines, like, I, I, I get it, you're having a bad day, but taking it out on the customs is just a bad idea and will probably lose you your job. It, it is what it is, man. This current approach the drive through of a family-ran business get, makes this entire order, gets it all made up, and right as they're about to get it, they decide to cancel the order. So obviously, the people who are running this family-ran business aren't exactly too happy with that, considering that she's trying to claim that, oh, I only wanted this and this, but you give me all of these things, I don't want my order now, and then just cause this massive hassle for a period of time for no reason. Excuse me, sir. Did you know what my side was? My side of the story was for you. Why are you guys? Why are you guys so nasty over here? Why he said, please don't come back over here. You're wasting food. Nobody touched it out here. So you're gonna eat it? Is this home business? Is this a home? A family business, so you're gonna throw that away. No, you're not. You're no, you're, it never touched outside, so why would you throw it away? What I'm, what I'm trying to understand, why are you so upset with me? Go on, move on. We got people that want to buy. These are people that are mean. They're mean just because I want it. All I want it. All I wanted was, all I wanted was, I wanted actually was to get an ice cream cone for my children to actually taste, and they don't even allow me to get an ice cream cone. I'm just trying to help out. thank you. All I wanted was an ice cream cone. No. No. Jesus Christ, you're not the only person in the world. So go up front. I'm trying to handle a situation. Ma'am. Bye. For five minutes. Move on. So you're going to explain to me what happened? I explained to you. You ordered food. I tried to explain to you the best way to order it the next time you came through. You then changed your mind, said you didn't want any food. We now have to throw that food away because nobody here is going to eat it. I can't serve this family out. business, so, yeah, so of course somebody's business. gonna eat it, miss. No, ma'am. You're just gonna throw it away. It. You it's don't like to throw food. Get the f out of here. <laughs> Go. That's funny. As she got bad as over an ice cream cone. I mean, yeah, in theory they could just have it themselves, but at the same time, that's still technically wasted food because it's food that was supposed to be used for an order for customers. Now it's just been created and the customer decided to can it. They can't give that to another customer. That's just not exact. That's not how you do things. Like, I, I, this person's brain's just lacking in the department of actual thoughts because, like, I'm sorry, I'm just having difficulty processing the sheer stupidity and the sheer ignorance that this person has just to be like, well, I'm not causing the problems here, you can just have it. I don't see the issue here. Like, in this next clip, we got a Karen who has no idea how to handle their own emotions when in any form of conversation about any potential issues. Be quiet, be quiet. Are you 35? Look at look at Have you paid for this one? Did you pay for it? It is not booked until June. First, okay, sir. Karen. So there is no right for you to be here. Okay, Karen. I am not Karen. Oh, There's no, no okay. right for you to be here. Okay. Okay. Disrespectful of go to your own slot or. Okay, who is this person? Okay. Get out of your own slot. Okay. Be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. Who are you both in your own slot? You want to. Okay, we got you. What else do you want? 
We're being really nice to you. You they know where I screamed at her. <laughs> be, be, be quiet. Yeah, yeah. So who is screaming? Yeah. <laughs> really? Get the f away from us! You are not respecting our values. We got six feet here. You're not six feet from our yes, boat. Get away! Okay. On Mother's Day. Oh yeah. A boat. Oh. oh my God. Okay. What's the problem? Oh, really? Your dog? Why are you like that? Because we're being so nice to you. We're not. This is not your mooring. If you came to moor your boat here, there would be no issue, sir. Yeah. Just go to your mooring. What number? This is 35. Really? Just go to your mooring. So what's the problem with 35? So what if I have 35? Don't hit me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Just don't touch me. Don't touch me. So, what is the problem now? You need to leave. Leave! Be quiet. Both of you. Be quiet. Just be quiet. She's Can you tell me what your name is and which No, I wouldn't tell Who are you? My name is Richard M. Chuck. What is your name? I don't give a about what my name is. I don't have to give my name. Rick, Rick. I don't have to give my name. Oh, Look. No. Uh, you, you. Okay. No. All right. No. So, so now I'm going to call the police on you. So now I'm going to have to... You... I... No, I'm going to... I think there's two logical conclusions here. Either A, the daughter is a complete psychopath, or B, most likely B, she probably has some form of special needs. But I wouldn't be too surprised in that case, considering how off the handle she went and her own parents can't even control her. Which, yeah, okay, that is some wild shot. That entire thing is just, whoa. <laughs> and I cannot believe just like, when you're being recorded, you're one of your instincts is to try and go up to that person and potentially cause some violence even the father was going to do that he starts going you know what stomps out of the boat gets stopped by her daughter then his daughter pushes them instead which is just like the many layers of uh so what <laughs> some people just completely amaze me with their stupidity in this next clip, we got a Karen who causes a scene over what is four ounces of soy milk. Yeah, causes this massive scene in Starbucks over four ounces of soy milk. I'm a supervisor. I'm a supervisor, okay? Yeah, I know. And you came Listen, out to fight with me, and I'm about to Listen. go. I just spent $20, $21 on coffee. You know what? And you're going to give me a hard time about no, four ounces no, of I'm soy milk? Do that, but that I'm is what you're doing. You called the police because I asked for soy milk? Are you no, serious? because you're recording right now. That's why. You came out here to fight with me. I just spent $21 on a cup of coffee. I asked for four ounces of soy milk. And now you're not going to give it to me after you pour it? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. But you poured it already. Because you said you're going to get in line and pay for it, that's why. No, I said I want the courtesy four ounces of soy milk after spending $21 on a cup of coffee. What in the world type of coffee, coffee are you getting to spend 21 flipping dollars on a single coffee? Like, by God, sometimes I get some little fancy shenanigans and spend like 10 bucks on a drink for the morning, but even I think that's a little bit excessive. How the hell have you spent 21 dollars on a coffee? <laughs> What a waste of money. <laughs> in this next clip, we got McDonald's getting an order wrong two times in a row and then refused to give any form of refunds or anything back to the customer after stuffing up twice. You can tell your kids be with this one, my name is Victoria Ventura. Okay? I understand, but all I'm saying is I would please like a refund for this meal since it was wrong again for the second time. Why? I understand, but nobody's answering that phone. Leave it a message. I left a message, I didn't get a call back. 
I'm gonna wait until they call me back. So there's nothing more I can do. You can. I'm asking you to please refund my money for the meal that you gave me. You know the rule for this store, I can replace all that with the food. You need to bring me all your food and I will be replacing Here, my you can have all the pickles you want, all the pickles and onions you want. That's not that food. Yeah, that's the pickles and onions. I had to feed the kids. Three Happy Meal and you bring Yeah, this is the pickles and onions off of them. Okay, sir. I I'm had to feed this them. One and you can call that number. There's I had to feed them. They had to scrape the food off, but they shouldn't have had to scrape it off. They shouldn't. I told you the problem I had before and you made me pay for my meal Thank twice. You, have a nice day. you made me pay for my meal for twice. Meal, okay? You made me pay twice and now you won't even give me a refund. This is the worst McDonald's I've ever been in my life. And you, you're a disgrace too. Jesus Christ. Worst McDonald's ever. Well, I'd like my order replaced then. You can't just give people wrong food over and over again. No, you're not at all. You called me a liar, so I paid for my food again. It was wrong again, and now you won't replace it. So just for the record, you're not going to take care of my situation? One, two, three. Right? You're not going to replace this? I'm sorry? Can I get a large soda? Yeah. Can we not speak English? I mean, I'm speaking English, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. I think he is ignoring me. It's all right. I've got a nice video to show his boss. We put it on YouTube. Huh. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. He's off. I know. There you go. Thank you. I would want him to take our order. So just for the record, you're not gonna take care of me. Okay. Just want to make sure. The second time, been in here. Had an issue. Second time, you just ignored me. I don't know. I, say, I don't know. You're not say. No, no, say por qué. Yeah. I, no, she didn't. She walked away. I want some kind of solution to this. You can't give me this. the wrong food twice. Make me pay for it twice. How is this acceptable treatment? How is this the way McDonald's should treat people? This is not the way McDonald's should treat people. Just ignore me. Go ahead, just ignore me. There we go. Ignore me. It'll make for a real funny video on YouTube for ignoring me. It's in, informing you on videotaping. Okay, good. There you go. He's acknowledged it. He knows. All right, let's get the f out of here. I'll just keep calling that number. Get my money back. <laughs> Wrong way. That was funny. McDonald's. Maybe we can go see. Clackamas McDonald's. Oops. So what's happening here, what I'm getting here is that the first order you made, they got incorrect. And when you went back there to try and have it fixed, they didn't fix it for you. Instead, you brought another meal in attempting to have it fixed and they got that order wrong and now will refuse to do anything to help you. I mean, I think this is one of those things where it's just like... I don't know what consumer protections that you guys have though over there in the US or wherever this clip was actually recorded because if like it's one of those things where I don't know why they didn't even attempt to fix it the first time why did you buy a second meal after they stuffed up the first one like why did you just go and buy another one rather than trying to have the first one fit like uh, there's so many questions here some bad decisioning from the person recording but still the People, I'm assuming that person at the start was the manager of this Macca's or high up enough to be able to handle these type of situations and refuse to actually handle the situation. What the hell? What the hell happened here? What the f- I'm just completely at it. Like this is- yeah, okay. If you did enjoy, make sure that like button down below. Make sure to subscribe and click this video on screen now for some more carriage shenanigans. Bye-bye.